Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Dr. Bryant. Um, I want to talk about uh, classic records, uh, and um, I want to talk specifically about uh, the fact that some of their uh, pressings um, have multiple micro scratches on the surface of the record, uh, quite unsightly, and for literally, literally uh, 15 years now, I've been trying to figure out what caused those. I always assumed it was something at the manufacturing plant. Um, but um, it seems to me that uh, it's actually, uh, it actually is because of the type of inner sleeve that was used. And it's, it makes buying classic records on the secondary market very difficult because um, if you are buying a sealed record, unless you know what kind of inner sleeve is in there, um, you don't know whether these uh, micro scratches are going to appear. And I'm pretty sure I'm right, but if anybody disagrees, I, I'm, I'm interested in your comments. We can talk about it on, 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 uh, on the Hoffman Forum or somewhere else. Um, I have three records here, uh, all of them bought by me. I have the Who's Tommy uh, Classic Records 200 gram, uh, the Who Quadrophenia 200 gram, and the Who by Numbers, also a 200 gram classic pressing. Now, a lot of the early classic records uh, and this copy of The Who um, used this very familiar inner sleeve, paper inner uh, with a poly lining um, and the classic uh, records logo um, on, the, uh, on the inner sleeve. Uh, here is the 200 gram uh, Quax SVP logo. Um, these are fine. They feel good, you pull the record out and you look at it, and you always have a very nice, uh, you know, clean uh, piece of vinyl. That's not to say there, there, can't, there couldn't be other problems like dishing or warps or other scratches, but in terms of these micro scratches, um, if you have that type of inner sleeve, you're probably okay. Okay, now here comes the problem. This is the Who's Quadrophenia. And it's a different type of inner sleeve. It's, it's, uh, it's all poly with this kind of white backing uh, inside. And if you look at this record, it's just a mess. You see all those scratches? Those are micro scratches. Look at that on the edge there, caused by, in my opinion, the inner sleeve. Now, what's interesting is that I'm going to show you now the Who by Numbers, also 200 gram, used, used an identical sleeve or identical looking sleeve, but in this case, the vinyl is clean. No micro scratches. And so I always figured that it was the manufacturing process, something in the factory, um, bad conditions, I don't know. But these two sleeves, although they look identical, are different. This is very smooth, it's smooth to the touch. You can feel the difference. I don't know if you can hear this. Now here's the Quadrophenia inner sleeve, listen. And you can feel it, it's kind of gritty, it has a a rougher feel to it. And this is what causes the micro scratches. I'm, I'm fairly convinced because all of the classic records that I have that are in these types of sleeves have these multiple, you know, very ugly uh, micro scratches. In some cases, they don't affect play. Um, in other cases, I, can act, I, act, I think I can actually hear it. Um, and so again, you can tell if you open up the record and you feel it and, and inspect the record. Uh, but if you buy a sealed copy, it's going to be pretty hard to tell. Now, if you have a sealed record, like for example, I have some sealed records here. Led Zeppelin, Song Remains the Same, Coda. And uh, uh, you can kind of tell, at least with Coda, if you drop the record a little bit, the inner sleeve sticks out and you can see that it's a white paper inner sleeve. So you're probably going to get this white uh, uh, inner sleeve that in most cases has been safe. And so 
Um, you can feel a little more confident buying a sealed copy. Um, it's not to say that there won't be other problems with it, but uh, you feel a little bit better. Uh, with, here's my a sealed copy of The Song Remains the Same by Led Zeppelin. You kind of drop it and you see that, uh-oh, it's that inner sleeve that is, you know, half clear and with the, that's clear with the uh, white backing. So if it's this type of rough plastic, it's, you know, this record could be all scratched up on the inside. If it's smooth, it'll be okay, but you won't know until you open up the, uh, until you open up the record. And of course, if your sealed classic records is a copy of physical graffiti, uh, you can't really see the inner sleeve from out, from, without opening up the package, so you don't really know what's being used. In my experience, the Led Zeppelins are fairly clean. Uh, they, uh, I, I, I don't think I've had that micro scratch, micro, that micro scratches issue with any uh, Led Zeppelin classic that I've inspected or owned, and I've, and I've got a few of them. So uh, that's that. Uh, just uh, thought you guys would want to know. Um, but you know, it also seems to me that going forward, if you see this type of inner sleeve being used in any of the um, of, of the new records you buy, if it has this kind of grainy feel to it or, or slightly textured feel to it, I would take a look at the record because it's probably scratched. Thanks.